Good afternoon and welcome to Possum Dollars. Now in today's video, I'm going to be stuffing $690, which is what I have next to me. That is my fortnightly income minus the mortgage payment and the monthly internet bill, because those two have to be done by direct debit. So jumping straight in, we're gonna go straight to the pink folder. Now, the car insurance, we're going to go straight in with $20. Now, if you watch my video from last fortnight, I have now made trackers. What I'll do is I'll fill most of those in afterwards because obviously it takes too much time. Car breakdown is fully funded, but car registration is going to get $20. Car service has just been done, so we're going to leave that one for now. And the council rates we're going to leave for this fortnight. I'll explain why a little bit later on. Strata fees is going to get 20. Um, this one did have a lot more in this. Um, I've actually just paid the strata bill this week. So that actually went down, back down to 20. There was $20 remaining and now there's 40 in this one. So we're building up to, for the next bill. Again, building insurance is going to get 20. This one is tracking along nicely. And content insurance is also going to get 20. Now this one is not that far off from being fully funded. So once it is, what I'll do is I'll pop a fully funded card in the front, which looks like that. So I know that I don't need to stuff that envelope. Water rates is going to get $20 also. And ambulance cover, mobile phone are both fully funded and due shortly. Um, work fees is not going to get anything this fortnight. Again, I'll explain why these are going to be a little bit short. Um, school fees also I'm going to skip. That is actually tracking along nicely, as you can see. And school uniform is going to get 20. And then school events is going to get five. Now, moving on to the purple folder, which is when I... Why I I'll explain why we're doing a lot less in the other folders just for this fortnight. So if I go to the back to medical bills. So I've got a consultant medical bill coming up and I was hoping to put um, 130 away this week and then 120 away next fortnight. It just happens that the con the appointment is the day before I get paid. So what I've had to do is I'm going to have to put the full $230 into this envelope. Now I'm going to use the cards. Reason being is because when I get there, I do have to pay on my card. They don't take cash. So there's one, two, three, 50, 60, 70, 80, which is the cost of the me medical um, appointment. So I'm gonna leave that in there, um, just so it's in there and it's a reminder. And that will be emptied, obviously the day before I get paid next fortnight. It's just the way that it landed. I thought it, it, it was the day after, but no. So moving back to the front, and we're still gonna try and put as much in these as we can. Now this week has been a big week for bills. So they all landed all at the same time. So Strata bill, um, that turn, that was paid this week. The gas bill was paid this week as well. So this one is now back to empty. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pop the first $5 in there. And um, now we're working towards the next bill. Electric bill, that came. Um, I'm, I'm gonna only put $10 in that this week 
but starting from next week i'm gonna have to put a lot more into this electric bill folder than what i have been paying i think i'm gonna have to put like 30 or 40 dollars a fortnight in there not 10 because the government credit is almost well it has actually now gone water usage is only a small bill when it comes i thought that was going to be it this week but it hasn't so it probably been next week which is fine enough five dollars got in there that's fine petrol's going to get 20 so i've been putting a lot smaller amount in there my car i do need to go and fill it up um today the petrol prices were crazy so I'll wait till the start of next week and see if they go down a little bit. But I'm going to pop 20 in there so then I can fill the car up. So I'll have 10, 20, 30, 40, 45. So that should get me all, oh, depending on the prices, I'm hoping as near to a full tank as I can because it's only a small car. Medication, as always, is going to get $5. The medical bill we've already stuffed, that's fully stuffed with the medical bill for that appointment that's coming up. The cat is going to get $5. And the emergency fund is going to get 10 Now, obviously, I did have an emergency repair, or yeah, a urgent repair, not emergency repair. So this envelope... Um, was pretty much wiped out so oh, I've got in, in front of my tracker so as you can see we're going to be working along this and the aim is to get a thousand dollars in this envelope so after the, I've finished recording I'll fill up another dollar sign and that's then got twenty dollars in there so that's the purple binder done and we'll move on to the yellow so pantry stock up again is empty. Um, what I've decided to do because the cost of food is just constantly going up, I've been putting money in the pantry stock up, and I've also, which is what I use to buy sales um, items that are on sale, I then pop them straight into the pantry and keep a very good stockpile. Um, there is actually a video on my YouTube a few videos ago if you want to go and watch that. Um, but I'm finding I'm forever breaking into it to top up the food money. So from next fortnight, obviously now the medical bill has been paid, I'm going to start putting extra into that food money um, envelope because it's just not stretching. Now, once obviously, um, I've also planted a veggie patch there's a video on my YouTube channel about that too, but it's not yet producing. So once that starts producing the tomatoes and the spinach leaves and strawberries, etc., then obviously I can knock that food budget down more than likely. But for now, I'm going to have to put it up because it's just not lasting. And like I said, I'm forever having to break into the pantry stock up or instead of using $20 for pantry stock up, I'm just buying one or two items because I'm needing to use the rest of the money to get fresh bread and milk in that little top-up shop that you do. Self-sufficient living is going to get um, no money this fortnight, but I have got to make a quick change. So I'll go through that in a second. Birthday presents is going to get 10. Now these are, this is for March next year. Now, as you can see, we're starting to build upon the tracker. Now, the Christmas presents, it's got $30 in there. And, but I've cleared the tracker, reason, and I'm going to go through why. So, it's $30, and then I'm going to add another $30. Um, another $30 in there today. But I've cleared the tracker, and it's now $60. Reason being is because I... Um, purchased a few weeks ago a food vacuum sealer because mine decided it was going to break after all this time and I brought it and it came out of the self-sufficient living envelope um, I took it back to get a refund but I couldn't get 
a straight refund. It's had to be a credit, a credit note. And it was the only vacuum sealer they actually sold. So what I ended up doing was using that $59 credit note to buy Christmas presents. And then, so the $60 that was in there, I've used the credit note for. So then what I'll do is obviously take the $60 out of the Christmas presents and put it back into self-sufficient living. So then that equals itself out. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go and do a bit more research and if I can, I want to try and get the same brand that I had, could be my last one, because that one, like I said, I had quite a few years. It was perfect. I just completely wore it out. So I'll, that money can sit in there until I go and buy a new vacuum sealer. So birthday presents is done. Christmas presents is now, it was filled, but it's now empty again. And what I'll do is, I'm, because it's a short week, I'm not going to go to clothing accessories but i am going to put five dollars in personal care because this was another one that, appointment that was due this week so again this one got emptied too so each one of these symbols is five dollars so i can just mark the first one up off afterwards fitness is obviously not going to get anything this fortnight either because just not enough money to spread around then moving on to the blue, we're going to skip quite some of these as well, so which would be DIY and decor, my bits and bobs. The $5 challenge is going to get $5 because no matter how skin tight I am, how short, short F ones I am, I always make sure that no matter what, this one gets its $5. Now, when it gets to 50, I'll then take that out and reallocate it. As you can see, there's only two more fortnights to go before this one is fully funded. Did I just put the $5 in there? So 20, 30, 35, no I didn't, 40. Just check that, 30, 40, yep. So $40 in the $5 challenge. So what I'll do is I'll pop that back in. Um, getting in front is just going to get $5. And what I do is if I have any money left over, then it sometimes this could be $5. Sometimes it could be 10, 20, 50. I have no set amount. It's more on the time. So what I'm going to do is every fortnight when I put in an amount, no matter what, it's, I'm going to mark it off on the tracker and then take it out at the end and whatever's in there, I'll allocate it elsewhere. The $1 challenge, I have actually got some money, some loose coins. So what I'm going to do is I've got two $1. So I'll mark off two and this when it reaches ten dollars then obviously i'll take that out and allocate it but there's already one dollar in there i don't i find that i don't get that many one dollars um so now so that will all start adding up and then again the two dollar challenge this one has got a bit more in there because like i said i seem to get more two dollar coins so when this reaches $20, I'll take it out and allocate it elsewhere. So this one now, just in a couple of fortnights, it now has $10. So I'm halfway there to having the $20, then I can take it out and reallocate it. That's the blue fold done. Now moving on to this folder, this purse. This is my everyday purse. Like, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put $150 straight into the food budget, but I am gonna make that from next fortnight be 200 and that way it's gonna stop me from breaking into the pantry stock up so that I can then use that money for what the purpose actually is. 
And then moving on, we've got coffee and lunches, and that's going to get $10. And then family fun is going to get $20. Now, for some strange reason, and I don't know why, I seem to have $5 left. Don't you just love when that happens? So I've no idea what the $5 is for. I'm assuming that I, I'm going to have to rewind and watch this video and see where I went wrong and find where the $5 is supposed to go. Um, if I can't find where it was or I miscounted my money in the first place, that's fine. I'll just pop it into the getting in front folder. But yes, that is just great when it happens because you just never know where it's going to come come from so thank you for watching my video I've tried to keep it short and sweet so what i'm going to do is i'm going to go back through and find out where this went i'm going to fill in my trackers and i will see you all next fortnight thank you for watching and bye bye